And for you to say you're not going to do something, that's rebelling against God. And that's why he sent, and this is why he sent us into slavery. Right. What I believe is that I take God whatever I bring Now listen, okay. He, okay, let me show you how you put him first. Listen to this. That's how you put him first. Read it. This is the book of John, chapter 3 and verse 3. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. You got to begin to be born again right now. Your understanding has to be renewed. Proverbs 3 and 5. Because this is what you was doing. And you said some things like, Long as I put him first, long as I, he's with me everywhere I go. Those are all philosoph uh, uh, philosophies that come from Christianity. And it's about self. And it's not. It's never about uh, unity. What about the next brother? What about the next sister? God deals with us as a nation. Not on just on an individual level. We've been taught to have a personal, independent relationship with God. That's a lie. When I come back, I would like to say one thing when I come back. I, I have the mic. I have no problem. Mm -hmm. but, but you know what I'm, the point I know but the point that I'm the point that I'm saying listen good listen real quick sis the point that I'm making is is that we focus on our independent mindset when we think about God but it's about all of us as a nation you understand so let's read this real quick Proverbs 3 and 5 read. this is the book of Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5 wait, wait. trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean our black nurses to black own understanding. Hey, you see, you see again, again, we got another devil that come up talking BS, bro. Right. Right about your business, bro. We teaching our people and edifying them. Right? We teaching our people and edifying them. Get your ass on the bus, bro. All right. right. Read this again. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 3 and verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. So the Bible says don't lean onto your own understanding, how you think and how you feel. You have to do it according to what the Bible says. You understand? Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Genesis 5020. Genesis what? 5020. Genesis 5020. We ain't trying to hear what you got to say right now. The Bible say, That's right. don't lean onto your own understanding. That's right. You understand? Don't lean onto your own understanding. So if you say something like, well, I know I'm supposed to wear a dress, but I'm not going to do it. That's you doing your own thing. That's right. If you say, well, I feel a certain way about God. That's your own thing. You have to say, you know what? God says, if I love him, go to, go to, show, let me show you how you truly love God. Right. How you truly love God. Let me show you. Because again, we've been doing our own thing. We've been feeling how we want to feel about loving God. Right. Now it's time for us to humble down and truly submit ourselves to say, you know what? It says it in the word of God. Let me apply it. Okay, let's read this real quick. I will, yes, the love of God. How we love God. Read this is the book of First John, chapter 5 and verse 3. Bring it out. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandment. Now, it's saying this is the love of God. That's right. It's telling you exactly what the love of God is. Right. And read. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. The love of God is that we keep his commandments. That's more right. than ten commandments. Right. That's the book. The entire book is full of the way of life that we live. That's right. Okay, that's a good. What? All, all praise my sisters. That's that's right on. Okay, let, I like that real quick. Let's finish this verse. I'm gonna get what you said out of the Bible. Let's read this. And and his commandments are not grievous. Commandments of God are not grievous or hard to do. Is it hard for me to? Uh, is it hard for you to put on a dress? They make dresses everywhere. It's not right. Hello. Wait. Listen. I know it's something you don't wear because of what this world has taught you. Right. You have to now begin to, well, this is what the world say. Yeah, right? Right. Right. So it's easy to wear a dress. It's easy for a man to grow out his beard. Right. It's easy for a man to put fringes on. You understand? It's easy for us to keep God's laws. We just rebellious. We don't want to do it. What is nation? Nation is family. 
Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 